Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Jen with Home Unis Plans and I am back with my last monthly highlight for 2020. I will be using this gorgeous kit from Nikki Plus 3. It is in gold foil and ugh, everything about it is just stunning. So without any further ado, I'm going to speed you guys up, lay down the base of the spread and then get back to you with the day to day. Okay, so starting out on the first of this month, uh, like I've kind of done with every single monthly highlights, uh, I will be using a bowstrung box from The Giving Girl. This one is from her winter collection. Uh, the Hello December script is from Rose Colored Days. The snowflakes and all the little snowflake accents are from Honey Inked, and the little Christmas tree divider is from The Pretty Pink Co. Jumping over to the second, I want to mark that I listened to my Office Ladies podcast on this day. So to mark that, I use an icon from Crafts by Towie and I layered it over one of the circles that came with the kit. And the little divider is from Sweet Bella XOXO. Jumping over to the third, I want to mark that this was the day that me and my husband did our monthly grocery run. We do one very large grocery run uh, a month, and that's where we get like the bulkhead of everything. So to mark that, I pull in a half box from the kit, a snowflake from Honey Inked, that girl is from the GP Studio, and the grocery shop sticker is from Planner Kate. Jumping over to the fourth, I wanted to mark that we spent the day over at Shane's grandparents' house. So to mark that, I pull in a quarter box from the kit. I layered a little house from the GP studio over a snowflake from Honey Inked and pull in another Christmas tree divider from the Pretty Pink Co. Jumping over to the fifth, this was the day that I had my holiday balloon gig where I got to dress up like Mrs. Santa Claus. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I insta vlogged it and that was so much fun. Um, I was not very good at doing vlogmas <laughs> this past December, but the stuff that I did vlog, uh, I had a lot of fun doing. Uh, it was really fun to like dress up and kind of take you guys into my world of showing you the balloon animals, but. Anyways, to mark that, I pull in a quarter box from the kit. Uh, the snowflake is from Honey Inked, and the little balloon dog is from Planner NV. Uh, jumping over to the sixth, I wanted to mark that I did a huge Hulu binge on this day. I think this was the day that I started binge watching Hey Arnold again. I've gotten really into that show again. That was like my childhood in a nutshell. But anyways, to mark that, I pull in a little binge watch from Fox and Pip, and the Hulu binge script is from my mom. On the seventh, I wanted to mark that I edited a plan with me, so I pull in a box from Bloom Paper Studio. Uh, I pull in a snowflake. I, once again from Honey Inked. All the snowflakes that I pull in are from Honey Inked, uh, unless I pull in some of the medium sized ones. Those are from uh, the Pretty Pink Co. But pretty much all the snowflakes I pull in are from Honey Inked. Uh, the little girl on her laptop is obviously from Fox and Pip. And then the divider is from the Pretty Pink Co. Jumping over to the 8th, I wanted to mark that I had kind of a pamper yourself kind of bath night on this night. So to mark that, I pull in a page flag from the kit. I layered that over top of a half snowflake from Honey Inked. The little girl is from Paper Shire, and the bath time script is from my mom. Jumping over to the 9th, I wanted to mark that I did a large laundry day on this day. So to mark that, I pull in a half box from the kit, and the little laundry girl is from Fox and Pip. I pull in a lot of Fox and Pip in this spread, I'm noticing. I'm not mad about it, though. <laughs> Jumping over to the 10th, the first thing I wanted to mark is that I filmed a haul on this day. So I pull in a lace mini circle box from Bloom Paper Studio. Uh, I layer that over top of a half snowflake from Honey Inked. The sticker sheets are from Crafts by Towie, and the little flourish is from Bloom Paper Studio. Jumping over to the 11th, I wanted to mark that I received some happy mail on this day. So to mark that, I pull in a happy mail sticker from Letters from Lay, and the happy mail script is a custom that my mom made for me. 
On the 12th, I wanted to mark that I packed for my trip to California. I did take a trip to California on this or uh, in this month. I had to go and help my sister move. Um, there was some things she needed some help with. So to mark that, I pull in a flat lay from Paper Shire. And then on the 13th, that is when me and my dad flew out to California. So to mark that, I pull in a lace oval box from Bloom Paper Studio and I layer that over top of a half snowflake from Honey Inked. And the little airplane is a icon that came with the kit. Jumping over to the 14th, I wanted to mark that uh, this was my niece's birthday. So to mark that, I pull in another bowstring box from The Giving Girl and some snowflake deco from Honey Inked. And the happy birthday script is from uh, the kit, actually. Then on the 15th, I just wanted to mark that me and my dad drove. Uh, I did layer the thin washi over these two boxes because my dad and I did drive these two days, but I didn't want to just mark that we were driving for the two days. I also just wanted to mark that this was my niece's ninth birthday and I wanted to have that marked down. So to mark that, uh, that we drove home, I layered that little car from the GP studio over a half snowflake from Honey Inked. Jumping over to the 16th, I wanted to mark that I had a fat nap on that day because I was exhausted from traveling. We traveled for two days straight and it was, ugh, I was so tired. So I pretty much just slept when I got home. On the 17th, I wanted to mark that I filmed my uh, Go Getter Girl functional planner review on this day. So to mark that, I pull in a half box from the kit, layer a planner from the Sweet Planner over a snowflake from Honey Inked. On the 18th, I did some Christmas shopping with my younger brother. So to mark that, I pull in a quarter box from the kit. Uh, the Shopping Day Girl and Script are both from the Sweet Planner and the Snowflakes are from Honey Inked. On the 19th, I wanted to mark that I wrapped some Christmas gifts. So to mark that, I have a box from Bloom Paper Studio. The present icon is from GL Designs Group and all the deco is from Honey Inked. On the 20th, I wanted to mark that I think I think this was Tay and Rachel's last episode of Plans Change for 2020, so obviously I had to mark that. Uh, and to mark that, I pull in a uh, scalloped half box from Panda Bird Design. Uh, the half snowflake divider is from Honey Inked. The Christmas tree divider is from the Pretty Pink Co. And the cell phone is from the Glitter Mama. On the 21st, I wanted to mark that this was my sister's birthday, and I didn't notice until now, but I kind of mark it the exact same way that I marked my niece's birthday the week before, except the one difference is I layer the Bowstrong box over the half snowflake from Honey Inked. On the 22nd, I wanted to mark that I filmed some workouts for my client. Pretty much the rest of December, I s did all of my training virtually because of the holidays and uh, it was a little bit just safer to do it that way. So I filmed a lot of workouts on that day. So to mark that, I pull in a half box from the kit. Uh, and that girl is from the GP studio. On the 23rd, I wanted to mark that I shopped for stocking stuffers on this day. So to mark that, I pull in uh, that cute little stocking from the Sweet Planner. Uh, then on the 24th, obviously, I had to mark that it was Christmas Eve, so I pull in this uh, Christmas circle box from the Pretty Pink Co., and I layered that over top of some snowflakes from Honey Inked. Uh, and the Christmas Eve script is from the kit. Then on the 25th, I am marking that it's obviously Christmas Day. Um, it's kind of, I feel like decorating these boxes for this month was kind of a cop out because I'm like, Obviously, I just have to mark that it was Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, so. Um, but to mark Christmas Day, I frame in the box with the uh, divider, the half snowflake dividers from Honey Inked. That box is from Bloom Paper Studio, and the Christmas tree is from Honey Inked. On the 26th, I had to mark that that was my birthday, so I just pull in a happy birthday script from Rose Colored Days, and the uh, present box is from the kit. On the 27th, I wanted to mark that I massively deep cleaned my kitchen. <laughs> it was like the biggest deep clean after the holidays and everything. Uh, we spent a lot of time out of the house, so my kitchen kind of got neglected, which is like... It's such a thing for me. It's, the older I get, the more I realize I can't stand my kitchen being dirty. But anyways, to mark that, I pull in a quarter box from the kit and I layer that over top of a half snowflake from Honey Inked. The cleaning bucket is from Fox and & Pip and the clean kitchen script is from my mom. 
On the 28th, I just wanted to mark that I filmed a plan with me. To mark that, I pull in another quarter box from the kit, a uh, decorative circle from the kit layered over top of a snowflake from Honey Inked, the planner is from Crest by Towie, and the film plan with me script is from my mom. On the 29th, I just wanted to mark that me, my husband, and some friends had a Netflix movie night. So to mark that, I pull in another quarter box from the kit. Uh, the Netflix TV is from The Sweet Planner. The Half Mandala is from Honey Inked. And the movie night script is from my mom. On the 30th, I wanted to mark that I edited my Go Getter Girl um, review uh, and uh, posted that. So to mark that, I pull in a box from my newest addiction, a circle from the kit, a snowflake from Honey Inked, and that girl is from Fox and Pip. Jumping over to the 31st, this was obviously New Year's Eve, so to mark that, kind of keeping it on theme with how I marked Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, um, I do pull in some decorative hanging crystals from Honey Inked, the box is from Bloom Paper Studio, and the script is from the kit. These are the leftovers I have from this kit along with the Viv Wiggle. Guys, this was my last spread in this planner. I actually finished a planner, which is insane, but I'm excited about this new year. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jen, I do planner things. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.